Look, thank you very, very much, Jason, uh, and, w and what an incredible night so far with so many extraordinary and fabulous nominees and winners. Um, tonight, um, please allow us to present what is a, a, a special one-off accolade uh, to a very, very deserving recipient. Um, if you like, an honorary honour, uh, a, a one-off um, that, that you will unlikely, I would say never, unlikely um, see again. Um, and this is being done really in recognition of the extraordinary year that has been, but also the absolutely phenomenal, overwhelming impact that this organisation has had on our community, not only here in Sydney, New South Wales, but indeed Australia and across the, across the region in which we live. This organisation put on something that said couldn't be done, they hosted what was one of the most fabulous, glittering, beautiful uh, festivals uh, this country has ever seen that will leave a, a long and lasting enduring legacy as a world-class uh, event. It brought diverse global communities together to advance equality, to promote human rights and social justice and inclusion through meaningful community engagement, visibility and celebration. Uh, what they achieved is something that everyone in this room can be incredibly proud of, uh, particularly people here in Sydney and, and, and New South Wales. So for the honorary honour, uh, please join us in, in congratulating Sydney World Pride. <laughs> Well, I don't know how many words are left to say about it now. That was a good intro, thank you. <laughs> Weeaboo, my name's Sue. I'm on the board of Sydney World Pride and really, really happy that all the hundreds of hours that I've put in on the board and the rest of the board members, but not just us, the staff at Sydney World Pride put in copious amounts of hours and I can't thank them enough for all the the work that they did, but I also want to thank Mardi Gras board for all the work they did, the staff at Mardi Gras for the, all the things that they've done. <laughs> it's Mardi Gras legacy now and I don't know if they're going to be able to do the same thing in such a, you know, 17 days in a little tiny space of time and it's a lot of work. I think as well that there's something that came out of World Pride is an expectation for the rest of the world now to see pride shine and to actually give space to everybody in a different way to how it's been shown before. And I hope that from First Nations people here in Australia have embedded through handing over the glass message stick to the First Nations people from Washington that we've embedded First Nations into World Pride for the future and our human rights are going to be looked at considerably more than what they have been in the past as part of our rainbow lives as well as our First Nations lives. And it was a really proud moment for me to be able to be up on stage handing that over to the First Nations mob from Washington. I'm glad you just didn't all see the tears that we were bucketing outside but it's just an amazing feeling and I can't thank the board enough from World Pride, the hours that we actually spent yarning up, talking about lots of stuff, arguing. It's not easy being on a board and it is all voluntary, but thanks to the board of Mardi Gras and Sydney World Pride, we all did an amazing job, but the staff are the ones on the ground who actually did the really hard yards and thanks to them. <laughs> Thank you, Anisu. Um, we're very humbly accepting this award on Gadigal Country tonight, and I pay my respects to the elders, past and present, and the future warriors who will emerge out of World Pride and other events that happen on, on beautiful Gadigal Country. And I also want to extend um, those respects to the Sydney World Pride First Nations board members, Sue and Stephen, our incredible staff, our advisory committee from all around the country, and our team who shared their stories and their ways of working and their culture and their connection to culture. Jess from Nungala Creative that shaped our organisation and the visibility of First Nations LGBTQIA plus brother, boy and sister girl 
culture and community like we've never seen before. But I also want to firstly thank ACON for not only this recognition and honorary honour, but also to your team and to your organisation for the incredible life-changing work that you do daily for our community. Sydney World Pride united the city and our community in a way that we had never seen before and an event that was truly for everyone and it was our hope and belief that we would leave a legacy and an impact that would be felt throughout the community for decades to come. From the opening ceremony and First Nations gathering space to the Human Rights Conference, Ultraviolet, Progress Shark and the Pride March across the Harbour Bridge, Sydney came alive for an incredible 17 days. I want to acknowledge the incredible Robin Kennedy and the 78ers who were on this journey with us since 2018 when we won the bid to host World Pride. Thank you to the Mardi Gras team who worked hand in hand with us, to the Mardi Gras board who were there from the beginning and will be there for years to come for this community. Thank you to Aunt Sue and to our Sydney World Pride, World Pride board who supported our team from beginning to end. I'd also like to thank the various community organisations who worked alongside us, in particular Black Aboriginal Corporation, 2010, ACON, and of course Equality Australia, who led the largest and most impactful LGBTQI conference this globe has ever seen. I am just one of 65, 65 Sydney World Pride staff who brought the World Pride dream to life and put on the biggest and brightest party this city has ever seen. The same streets that our 78ers marched down for our rights were turned into vibrant, safe havens and celebrations for our community. Thank you to the Sydney World Pride team, to my colleagues, my family. This recognition is because of you and because of us. And lastly, it would be remiss of me to not talk about our incredible leader, Kate Wickett. On behalf of our team, I want to acknowledge and honour her as an incredible, courageous and tenacious leader, unwavering in her support of us. Every idea, every conversation, every dream, every wacky idea that we had, she advocated for us and she sheltered us when things got really tough. She never allowed others to define what we were capable of and what we knew that we could achieve together. She was relentless in her pursuit to deliver a life-changing festival for our community and this city. So I very humbly accept this award on behalf of the entire Sydney World Pride team and Kate. We were most certainly the party, but you were our purpose. Thank you very much. Thank you.